So this um, this book uh, came in the mail, um, I, I think from Amazon, I don't recall now, but just, you know, packaged and um, came to my door. And that was it. It wasn't like packaged by a person with a little note or something. It was just, mm -hmm. it was this book. And I thought, oh, I didn't order a book, you know, but it's addressed here, so I should open it and see what's going on. And as I can see that it's a book, I'm thinking, oh, you know, there's been a mistake somewhere. I'll, I probably I ordered a flower pot or whatever, <laughs> but I'll figure it out. I'll return it or something. And then I saw the title, Bones of the Master, and I was like, wait a minute. Wait. I'm I'm intrigued immediately, and then it was like Buddhist and monk in China and, and Mongolia, and I was like snow leopard. I was like, wait a minute, and I saw, I was like, maybe I, I, what is this? Intentional. And you know the back doesn't say anything about it. It's just image and a, you know, UPC code or something. And so I was like, well, the only way I'm going to find out what this is, is just, you know, to read it. And, you know, the very first quote in the book is, you cannot control, only catch. Hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, you know. I had, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I, I got it. So I just started reading it. And that's, I'm just transfixed, you know, I'm in this chest. It's so up my alley. It's as if a really good writer with really great experiences wrote something for me oh wow you know, nice it's like so up my alley so i'm just reading it but it's also one of these things where i'm like gonna read and savor mm -hmm. so i just read a little bit and like oh i'm just i'm writing poetry i'm like i'm you know changing what i'm teaching i'm thinking differently and then you know, the next week I'll read three more pages or something and then I'm highlighting as I go and, you know, and, and this goes on for, I don't know, four or five, six months, whatever it was. And I'm, I have to go into New York to see my teacher. So I get my, you know, backpack and my water bottle and, you know, uh, change your workout stuff. And I throw the book in there because read that on the train. It's, it's going to be ideal. And I bring a notebook for poetry or, or note taking, and uh, you know, uh, I'm sure I read some on the train. I don't remember, but it's in my bag. And then I go to meet my teacher before class at some, you know, like Alba Pond or some kind of a, as I recall, it was some kind of bakery restaurant, something wherever, pretty crowded in, you know, downtown Manhattan. And we meet, and like laughs and hugs, and sit down, and, you know, you ordered something, I got some tea, or, you know, and then he's like, so, so, you know, what's going on, what's on your mind? I was like, I don't, that's like a, such an open question, but I was like, <laughs> well, I'm going to just tell you about this book, I mean, like, I got this book, it's right in my backpack, I was just reading that on the train, I guess, I'm like, oh my God, it's written for me, it's, oh my God, I, when I'm done, I'm going to have to send you a copy, or, you know, whatever, I was like, it's just so amazing. And he's like, oh, what's the book? And I said, oh, it's really, it's called Bones of the Master. And I pull it out. He's like, oh, I've read it. And I was like, oh, you have? And he's like, yeah, that's why I sent it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like, thank you, Rick. <laughs> like, <clears throat> I was like, oh. <laughs> like, well, at least you got the sincere version of me saying thanks a yeah, lot. Right. I like the book a lot. Because I was sincere, just yeah. like so energized. Like, oh my God, I can't believe it. That's so funny. You know, and I was like, it's the book that's in my thing right now. I'm reading it. And I didn't know that that's who sent it. I think. Good. <laughs> so that's <coughs> George Crane's Bones of the Master.